first, uh, I would like to thank Ricky for inviting me over. Um, Urban H, the city program of the LSE and the collaboration with the Deutsche Bank are for me and my organization an inspiration to address the problems in my organization, in central government, national government in the Netherlands, concerning the lack of content drivenness and the focus on process and short-term results, possibly ending in total reactivism of politics and bureaucracy. As director of national planning of the Netherlands and responsible for the recently developed long-term strategy for the Randstad, the new planning act, the new national architecture and design strategy, and the preparations and spatial research for a possible Dutch Olympic bid, climate change looked like the strange duck. It's a famous Dutch expression, but it's not. The Dutch approach is what I will tell you a little bit about in the next nine minutes. The Dutch agenda on climate change is of course marked by our physical condition. We are for a larger part almost 50% below sea level, and we are very good at being there. The forecast on climate change that the sea level will rise 35 to 85 centimeters in this century, and in the long term for more than two meters. Higher winter water levels in the rivers, vulnerable to flooding from the Rhine and, and the Meuse rivers, more space is needed to retain flood water. In our national spatial strategy, water is one of the structural principles that structurizes our spatial design. Climate change does not change the way of thinking or our approach towards spatial planning because the Dutch are used to incorporating coping with water and water levels in our planning system. Most of the Randstad is situated underneath the sea. In the Randstad, 50, more than 50% of our income is made. More than 50% of our people are living, and we all live beneath the sea level. The Dutch government, we never decided to move away to Germany or Belgium, for instance. No, we keep on investing in this western part of the Netherlands. Uh, but it has it, it takes a lot for development. We have to do this properly. It's not considered necessary, necessary to relocate. We want to continue to invest. But climate-proof sustainable delta puts the Netherlands in an international spotlight in a way. We can teach the world. Actually, we're doing that. But we forgot to teach ourselves the same. So our engineers are working all over the world uh, uh, but not as much at home. But it's not only about adaptation, it's also mitigation. There's a lots of talks about numbers and if they're right or wrong. But it's a problem. Climate change is a problem in every perspective. Ben Page said yesterday, what is measured gets done. I would add, right or wrong message, it gets done anyway. We recognize the urgency and scale of the global climate challenge. That is why we are pursuing a 30% reduction in our greenhouse gas emissions by 2020, relative to 1990, preferable as part of a European effort. And at the moment, in Poznan, there's an international climate change conference to uh, uh, get ready for Copenhagen next year, and the Netherlands is pushing to get to a real climate change agreement in Copenhagen. But there's no silver bullet for climate policy combination of measures. We talk about regulation, finance, technology, and behavior. Emphasis should be on a global reduction, and individual cities can take the lead. There are various cities, even in the Netherlands, that have a strong climate policy. There are also various cities in the Netherlands that want to become climate neutral in the near future. And there are possibilities to reduce CO2 emissions through spatial planning. The government is considering various options. One option is to bring together heat demanding companies and companies that have excess heat. Excess heat can be used by companies that need heat and heat can also be used by residential areas. Back to planning. The Randstad urbanism actually its core business 
we made a long-term strategy for the Randstad, combining international competitiveness with sustainable and climate change-proof Randstad. We have high ambitions and want the Randstad to become one of Europe's top regions. It is more than an urban area. It is urbanism in a green-blue delta, and it is one system. The task for the next decades is to build 500,000 new homes between now and 2040. That means greatly densifying and restructurizing our old and aging living and working locations in the cities and transforming disused sites into new urban areas where the residential and employment function can pursue the goals. Climate change and urbanism is quite a task. Changes to combine tasks with spatial planning and other aims, that are the conditions and implications for city and the development of the Randstad. Our next step towards climate change and adaptation was to install a Delta Committee, a national committee that should advise the central government on what to do. And they came up with three big advisors. Come up with a Delta program, finance it in a Delta fund, and fund it in Delta law, in a Delta act. They focused on safety, they focused on adaptation, uh, but they made an advice for the next 100 years. A Delta Act will anchor the political administrative organization and funding within the present political system and the current legal framework. It is guaranteed by a Delta Fund, a Delta Fund that consists of one until two billion euros a year for the next 100 years to make the Netherlands climate proof. And the political administrative organization of our water safety is based in a group where national, regional, and local authorities are combined uh, under chairmanship of the prime minister. The cities can take the lead, and that's what it's about. They can take the initiative. New Amsterdam Climate and the Rotterdam Climate Initiative are actually pursuing the goals to working together um, with companies, with the harbor, to, uh, uh, to get to this mitigation uh, and adaptation uh, issues. Rotterdam and Amsterdam do change on that. You can see the green line where the goals are set for Rotterdam. And the question to me was, if climate change is such a big issue, uh, and the financial crisis is too, do we need to reinvent planning for that? For climate change, we do not reinvent planning, because we invented planning in the Netherlands uh, uh, towards adaptation, in a way. But something has to change. If you have 10 problems and you want to solve them all in one, you create a new one and then you have to solve 11. Integration doesn't make it simpler. You have to look at all those problems, pick your fights, and choose that attract or those that generate other perspectives. And then add the 11th. Because we need this integration, we need to know why. And complexity and bigness are always an excuse, excuse to not do, but talk. Talk about process instead of content and acting upon the issues. Everyone should be in charge. The politics trap is to stay in the top level of act and react, forgetting to combine it with think and do, and forgetting their history. Once we have this time frame when we really know where we came from and where we're going with a long-term strategy uh, on planning, with a long-term strategy uh, on climate change, we know how to act today. Our bureaucracy has turned into a process-oriented, short-term focused bureaucracy. We're changing this again, and climate change is helping us consider this change. So the Dutch approach is about think, do, and act. We invest a lot in research programs on climate change, on adaptation and mitigation. We do a lot in projects and pilots, and we try to make the leap
from react to act. We have to think, do, and act, and tell our stories. Thank, thank you.